limits of indeterminate quotient evaluate limit of square root of 5 minus x minus square root of 5 plus x divided by x where x approaches 0. So let's substitute x equals to 0 and see what do we get. We get 5 minus 0 is 5, square root of 5. So we get square root of 5 minus square root of 5. And here x equals to 0 gives us 0. So basically we get 0 over 0. So when we substitute the limiting value, and if I get 0 over 0, then this is called indeterminate quotient. In both numerator and in denominator, we get 0, right? Now here we know x is not equal to 0, right? The function itself is not defined at x equals to 0, but limit may exist, right? Limit is not the value of function. Limit is the value which function is approaching when we approach that point, correct? So limit may exist. Now, how to solve this kind of a question? We are going to use rationalization as our technique. Remember, rationalization. So that is the technique which you are going to use to simplify this expression and then evaluate limit, right? So let me rewrite this question and it could be written as limit x approaches 0, numerator is 5 minus x minus square root of 5 plus x over x. Now, rationalizing means what? When we are rationalizing, then basically we are multiplying and dividing by conjugate of the expression. So here we will rationalize numerator, since numerator has got these square roots, right? So conjugate of this is square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 5 plus x over the same thing, right? 5 minus x plus square root of 5 plus x, right? So when you multiply and divide by the same thing, it's like multiplying by 1. It doesn't really change the expression. Expression remains same, right? So this technique of rationalization helps us to simplify. Let's see how. So if you do numerator, then we have a minus b times a plus b, correct? where a is square root of 5 minus x and b is square root of 5 plus x. Now a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square. Now if you square this part, you only get 5 minus x, right? So you get 5 minus x here and squaring that, we get 5 plus x. Is that okay? So that is the simplification, you see. In the denominator, we'll keep the term as such. We will not expand denominator. Make a note of that. So in the denominator, we get square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 5 plus x, correct? So I'll make a note here that do not expand. So I said do not, right? Do not expand the other term, in this case denominator, right? That is important. So what I'm trying to say is, if you rationalize numerator, then do not expand denominator. There will be times when we will rationalize denominator. In that case, do not expand numerator. That's a rule, okay? That is what you need to follow. Otherwise, you'll be unnecessarily wasting time we have limit x approaching 0 and you can see here 5 minus 5 is 0 and minus x minus x is minus 2x. So we get minus 2x in the numerator and the denominator we have x and this factor by which we multiply 5 minus x plus square root of 5 plus x, correct? Now you can see that x and x has been factored out. So, when x was approaching 0, we got 0 over 0, means x you can see in the denominator, but there was a factor x in the numerator also. By rationalizing, we factored that out. Do you see that x in the numerator? 
Now we can simplify by canceling this x, right? x divided by x is 1. So that's as good as cancelling. So we can write this as limit of x approaching 0. And in the numerator, we have minus 2. In the denominator, we have square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 5 plus x. So that is a simplified expression. Now we can substitute x equals to 0 and get the answer. So if you do that, we get minus 2 over, if I write x equals to 0, I get square root of 5 here, right? So I get square root of 5 plus square root of 5, right? That gives us minus 2 over 2 square root of 5, correct? That is minus 1 over square root of 5. So that is the answer we get. At times, it is better to write this because we don't prefer to write square root in the denominator, right? So it can be rationalized and written as minus square root of 5 over 5, right? So, well, either way, both are correct for me. Well, some teachers prefer this answer, correct? Well, most will prefer this only, right? But in case you stop here, sometimes okay, but, right? So we have this answer and the answer is I prefer minus square root 5 over 5, correct? So that is the limit of the given function as x approaches 0. I hope you understand and ap appreciate this technique of rationalization. So rationalization basically is multiplying and dividing by the conjugate of the term and then utilizing difference of squares a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square, right? So that is how we simplify such questions. Thank you.